So I had a tough one to take yesterday. Some of your feelings after it. Oh yeah, I mean, I was disappointed. Obviously, you know, the the result and scoreline wasn't great, and yeah, I was frustrated, disappointed at the outcome, you know, and and the scoreline how it ended. So yeah, that I, if I was to sum up two words, that would be it. Yeah, there was plenty of bodies missing. Obviously, only sixteen players named for the squad on the match day. How much of an effect do you think that has on the team? It has a huge effect, um, and I don't want to use any of this as an excuse, but. It, you know, playing with 16 in the modern game. I know we played with 16 last week, but that, it's slightly different. This week we played with 16 and, and technically 15 because we didn't put Owen Buckley on because he was in the week. He was really struggling with a stomach bug. He, sh bug. he shouldn't have played. He shouldn't have turned up, but he had to to put his name on the on the team sheet to just give us that extra body. But yeah, we've lost some players through injury. We've obviously got the long-term injuries. I think at the moment we've got 10 first-team players out through different reasons. We've got long-term injuries to a few of them. We lost a few in the week that probably shouldn't have been playing the last few weeks, but have had to because of injuries and different things like that. We've got a couple on long COVID return to play protocols and then our head injuries that haven't helped either. We've got a couple that are on, again, return to play protocol on that. So yeah, of course it's got a knock-on effect. That That's, you know, without without it being an excuse, it's, it's it's difficult because we're we're trying to put a team together on the weekend and, and through different circumstances that's really hard at the moment and and we're doing our best to fix that you know we spent all last week trying to bring players in we brought Connor Aspie in but we we scaled the market and you just can't do it at the moment through the new guidelines that the we've gone past the deadline and and Super League clubs playing two two games in a week and we're trying our best to bring people in, but a lot, of, a lot of clubs aren't letting people out for similar reasons to ours, and COVID doesn't help. So I don't want it to sound like a an excuse, and and, and that's the reason that we lost on the weekend. But it has a huge impact, and it, and, it, and it has throughout the back end of the season. You know, we've got people that are struggling playing, and we certainly have people that aren't playing that are really struggling again. So yeah, yeah, it, it certainly has a knock on effect. There's, that's without question, but still, I thought parts of our performance, particularly in the first half, weren't good enough. But, you know, it's it's been difficult to put a team together for all them reasons that I've stated. Yeah. Is there any message you'd like to give to the fans who travelled up to, to White Team yesterday? Yeah, we, we we let them down yesterday. My, myself, I'll take full responsibility for that. You know, I'm, I'm the one that puts the team together. And, and the boys that are on the field are trying their best. You know, they... It's not through lack of trying and they're putting their body on the line and, and I've got to put my hand up to them. But in terms of the fans that went, you know, we, we didn't, we didn't, I didn't put a performance together for them that they deserved. And, and like I say, I take full responsibility for that because we had a great turnout and I, and I actually caught a few of them at the services on the way up and that, you know, they were, they were giving us huge support and, and yesterday we, we didn't do them justice and will be better and I'm and I'm sure they, they understand the circumstances as well. They they know and the ones I've spoken to understand that what position we're in at the moment and they understand the reasons why and why it can't be fixed immediately. But in saying that we still gotta be better because we you know they turned out for us yesterday. Yeah, obviously a tricky squad situation but for now three games left in Oldham, Bradford and Swinton. How do you expect the team to react in terms of finishing off this season? Well, we'll go through it and, and we'll see what we can be better at as individuals, you know. What team we'll have together this weekend, I'm not so sure at the moment. Again, we'll, we'll go back and try and look through the market and see what we can or can't do. And if we can bring people in, we will. But, you know, we've got to be better individually of, of what team we can put out there. So we'll go through it tonight and, and we will be better. But that doesn't take away from the disappointment on the weekend because we, you know, it wasn't good, but there's circumstances around that and they're not excuses, but they are facts. So we've just got to get together as a team and work together and, and get behind each other and, and put a performance in on Sunday.